What up guys, Jordan here, and it's time for another must-know flashes. This time we're gonna do T side train. Got a couple for you that I think you should know. Maybe you already know. Keep it simple, straightforward here. I want you guys to make sure you're throwing the right flashes or just simple, easy flashes to help yourself get kills or support teammates on each map. Always love when you guys add different flashes, so feel free to drop a comment with something I might have missed. This is just gonna be T side. I'll do another CT side on each map. So far, I've only done T side Mirage, so go check that one out as well if you want to. Alright, first things first, rushing towards Ivy. First thing I like to do at Ivy is I like to stop by this box a lot because I want to know if they're pushing and if they're pushing it's really hard to stop and operate at this angle right obviously you could throw Molotovs and stuff but we're talking flashes here so one flash I just like to know is this one right off the roof if they push it's a nice one because you can kind of peek with it off the angle oh you got to make sure you're practicing it so that doesn't happen um, I don't know if that other one will hit them still probably not I don't think it goes through it so make sure you're clearing that so it get farther on the roof like that and you could peek with it, won't blind you, push him off this angle. Fast flash, there's a couple of variations you could throw. One, I could kind of run and jump throw, aiming for that white sign right there. If that one's a little high, but it works, sometimes I like to throw it a little lower. I like to throw it back far enough so that it pops while I'm along this wall. So the problem is, if you throw it too late, and you're here, they can try to beat the flash and come out here and peek, and they'll catch your shoulder. So make sure you're throwing it early enough so that they can't catch you on the rush. You can also throw a couple of the variations of that. You can throw one off the wall like this. I like this one because they can't tank it as much. This one they can kind of tank the flash and they know the angle you're th throwing it at. So if they know you threw it from this angle, they'll try to like, I find a lot of times when I throw that, people will try to swing out and hold the angle and take the blind shot and run away. Because even if they miss you and they take that shot, it's really hard for them to kill you, or for you to kill them, because worst case, they just stop here and they'll throw smoke and they'll hide, right? Anything, in terms of other flashes for Ivy, everything can be done on the fly, guys, so always keep in mind, like, like, for instance, say you're rushing and you throw this flash and you hear a guy get blind, you can always throw, like, a little on the fly like this to make sure if you think he's going to re-peek you again or if he's, like, backpedaling, you can still blind him or if, he, if you think there's two people there and one didn't get blind, right? It's always good to have the extra flashes in hand. The rest for Ivy are kind of on the fly. One, one thing I will note is a lot of people make this mistake when I play with lower levels. When they want to flash the upper back at Ivy, they'll throw a hard flash like that. But the problem is it gets in this corner. So that works all right for this guy up on this side. But this guy doesn't blind holding right here. So if you want to throw a flash... Like, say you want to peek on the top here, right before it, just throw, like, a little soft flash like that. And then you could peek with it, because that one they can't dodge, you know, no matter what. And in terms of this side, you want to actually probably try to throw it like this. Because then it's more in the middle, so it's fully blinding both sides, all right? Now to middle. Support flashes. These seem obvious throwing flashes over mid, but I want to just give a quick tip for rushing and then just general support flashes from team mid. When your team is rushing out middle, you don't want to throw your first flash until your first teammate hits this point. So it's useless when your first spawn out of mid just starts coming here and bombing it. It's always very useless. A very common rush you'll see pros do is they'll run out mid, and they'll either rush up the, the hell lane to green train, or they'll jump out right right away. What happens though is if you flash too early, a lot of a lot of pro teams, if they see the flash coming early, they'll just dodge it, get blind, but they'll still get the molly off and they'll run up like this. And they'll be able to get this fight off, maybe smoke ladder, whatever. It's just a lot more annoying. Right? It's also good because if you throw the flash later, they might forget to throw the molly on time or one of their protocols might get messed up. So yes, throw the flash when you get to team mid and throw them like this. If you have two, right when he hits team mid, just one deep. If you can, I would say try to throw them more to the right because if you throw them right here, so it's like boom, you throw three, two, one. If you're not good, if you're not careful, you could blind them. So what I'll do on a team mid rush is I'll throw one shallow like this right when they hit the corner and then I'll throw another deep like that. So that if they do want to go to the right with this spawn, they can kind of hug right here and that second flash is over them and this guy E-Box will be blind, all right? In general, guys, team mid flashes are great to do a lot of things with. Anytime you have a teammate in team mid, you could throw this flash for them and, and encourage them to throw that flash for you when you're playing. It's really good. Once you're in team mid, there's not too many flashes to throw. You can get creative. Like, I remember this one. You could just sit in this corner and throw it off the line right here. That one's pretty good if you think the opera is posted on you aggressively. Um, a lot of times I'll say I'll couple that with my teammate throwing one over. I'll be like, hey, can someone flash over team mid? Yes, okay, flash in three, two, one, and they flash. And you blind them there, and then a guy up top will also be blind, and you can kind of clear close. Obviously, if they're in team mid, it's tough to flash for yourself. You know, this is where, like, the whole dilemma of, hey, can I get someone in matchmake to flash for me? If you can, obviously it's better. If not, if someone's in team mid, the, the best way I say to clear with a flash is always to kind of clear as much as you can with your gun. That you, Like, if you think he's here... 
I would say if you're not sure if he's here, just try to take these angles confidently. Boom, step out. Boom, step out. And then maybe like a flash like this. But the dangerous thing here is if he's not here and he's top trainer there, it might not work that good because he just dodges the flash and then he'll kill you or something. So the best thing, obviously, for Team Id is we used to do this a lot on my team. We would always clear this angle without the flash because the flash doesn't get it, right, if he's up here. A lot of times, I mean, you could find a pot flash that goes here, but if you throw it deep, I would clear this angle, and then you actually have your teammate throw a flash in front of you like this, and I think I have a bind to show you guys how it works here. You flash like this, and then, oh, it doesn't, it put no clip speed for some reason, but yes, you flash past him like right here, after he's already cleared this, and maybe even this, and then boom, you can turn from the flash and swing in really fast and kill him. So it's a good little trick too. Let's go towards Brown Hall and then I'll, I, I might have a couple bonus flashes outside for you guys at the end. They're not as practical, but they're good for certain scenarios. Ladder flashes, one flash obviously is go in the corner of this pipe, aim at the middle is X, and right click. Just underhand a flash. That flash will pop in here. It's alright. Nowadays, better players hear it and they'll play like this and they'll just dodge it. So it's, it's good to know, but it's not that beneficial. You see a lot of the ways people clear ladder now is with two anyways, but if you want to clear it for yourself, another simple way is like once you clear this, you peek this, you could just throw a flash like this and then drop with it if you really want to. Like I said, tough, tough fight here for a T to try to win by yourself. It's really good if you have teammates. I actually love this meta I've seen teams do is if you can have a teammate team mid, like say they smoke this out. That's a little whambo play. He'll kind of sneak up on the ladder and throw a Molotov in there for you. That's completely besides the point of this flash video, though. <laughs> um, so anyways, one more flash you can throw from up here. It's all right. Um, I don't throw it often. Is You can just throw one, one off that. If you have a teammate down ladder and he thinks one is E-Box, it's like a good little contingency flash, I call it, to know. Uh, you just bank it off the pipe. I don't actually really line this one up. I just kind of like feel it, aim below the line, and it kicks off like that. Good to know. All right. Enter lower flash, guys, to blind the guy pushed up. What I do is see these teal things on the wall blue. I go to the, to the next point right past them at this wall. So I just run right past them right to this corner. I don't get it too perfect. I literally will, because you'll do this in the rush in the beginning of the round. I run past it, duck right here, top right of the paper, throw. I think if you do bottom of the paper, it goes a little shallower. And so they both work for holding this angle early, right? Good flash to know. You should all, all know that one. Pretty much you should all know all of these. Next up for inside, you know, when you're going in there, you could just throw flashes hard off this and they do all right for people that are like, you know, obviously playing in the middle of the open right here, they'll blind them. But the problem is that someone like this spot, right? Or this spot when they're holding, they don't really get blinded. A lot of times people, I see this nade combo all the time from amateurs. They throw this smoke Z or however you throw it, or you'll just throw side rock smoke. And then there'll still flashes out here that they think are shallow. A really good flash to throw is not that one because this gets blocked and then this guy kind of goes over their head and it will only like half blind them. Let me see if I can recreate it. It like does decent, but yeah, you know, right? Like it's not gonna push them off the angle. So this flash is a really good one. I, don't, I normally throw it like this along this corner after I throw the smoke. I'll aim just at this line right under the right side of the pipe here. And it's sim simple as shit, but it banks off the wall nicely and just drops in. Um, so you can blind people holding the tracks and it destroys this guy And that's why it's also really good is because the flash comes in it's hard for this guy to turn I find and even when he does turn a lot of times it makes it easier for your team to entry him Because he's at a deeper angle and not just holding this because this angle sucks because he can see your feet right away, right? So he kind of has a pre-fire on you from right there when he's back here It's harder for him to have the pre-fire, right? It's a good flash to know another good flash from the same position is right here So this is for like if your team wants to come out upper a lot of times if you don't have a smoke Z the, the guy Z is the dangerous one, the opera there. Obviously there too, but you can only flash so much. Or this guy could flash that, and you could do the flash I'm about to show you, which is basically I cut the angle pretty tight here. I go under the arrow normally to the bottom of the B, and I just run and jump throw. And this flash is good because it blinds this guy holding upper right here. It's a good flash now, especially for like a pistol round. A lot of times on pistol, people will play like one person, like... Um, you know, spotting right here or something weird, or they'll spot like right here with one, and one guy will watch upper, so this guy can be quick rotate, and that's a good flash. You can flood out upper at the Glock at the easy plant. Um, in terms of after plant flashes now, there's nothing too crazy you guys can know. I will say when you're default, like don't try to throw flashes like at people to blind them if you're like trying to hold the site. Like generally, like a good flash to throw is just like even behind you, just peeking off it is pretty good. Um, if they're deep, sure, try to throw a back step. 
that'll blind them and you can get away with it or move. But other than that, inside, I don't really have too many good flashes for you. There's some like banks you could do that are tricky. Like you could throw one off the train and peek with it like that or something. Though That's kind of fun, but that's just like, that's like not like a, that's just like an individual flash you could learn and mess with. And the keys, as you could tell, you could, they kind of land differently each time. So you got to feel them. Going down lower, the slash is like this one. But the bonus flashes for you today are outside, which I don't know if a lot of people know these flashes. And I'm going to do CT side another time. I'm, I'm immediately thinking of CT side flashes. But one is this flash, which you can throw under the bomb train. Most people don't realize that, and I'll make a marker right here. Most people don't realize that if the flash goes under that black part, it blinds someone on the other side of the train. So this is good to know because sometimes you'll be in those 1v1, 1v2 situations where maybe you'll kill a guy here and you don't want to throw like a flash bank. Like, like a flash like that's really good. But something like this will surprise them because they won't see it. And you can peek with it. And better yet, if you think they're walking out, you can throw one of those, make sure it gets under, and you can kind of just jump up on them. There's a good chance they don't have any idea it's going to hit them. One more flash for C, which is kind of fun is it's kind of like unnecessary because you could throw different flashes but you could bank flashes out here and run in with them and they land over there so a lot of just people don't even think of use, using this to, for flashes but you can on both sides of the spectrum now i'm giving one away from my ct side anyways guys i hope you enjoyed that obviously on a map like train always be creative all these little slant things right here there's so many ways you could flash right if i'm rushing outside and i rush down to hell i could throw a flash like this if i want stop here come out and peek with it, right? Like you can get creative with, with nades all over these angles on the map, but I thought those were a couple of nice, simple flashes for you guys to know on T-Side. I hope you enjoyed it. If I missed a couple, let me know in the comments, like I said, and I'll see you in the next video.